How's the oblique feeling? Healthy. Ready to go. Back to 100%? Yep. Were you feeling it the first two games? Is that fair to say? Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Uh, I got banged up uh, in the first game, and you know, it did kind of wear on me a little bit, but I'm ready to go 100%. How much did it affect your mobility? Uh, I think it you know, affected you know, all aspects of it. Um, I believe it's no fun, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm ready to go. Why did you make gains these two weeks, Shay? Just in preparation. You know, anytime you have an extra, extra week to prepare for an opponent, I think just, just knowing them uh, is obviously the biggest, biggest benefit. But, um, you know, just going out there and playing with confidence and letting it loose. You got hurt on that first play. So what, what did you feel at that moment? Did you know something was amiss? Uh, yeah, it, it, it stunk a little bit, you know. Uh, I couldn't really rotate all the way. Uh, it was more mental, I think. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm healthy, 100%. Can't wait to get, that, get out there with you guys. Is it helmet hit you? I mean, how did you, how does... I have no idea. I mean, it might have been just the way my body tore it mm -hmm. on the first play. How do you assess your first two games? I mean, knowing that you have a slight limitation, you did get two wins, but what do you, how do you think you did? <sighs> Sorry, it sucks you said that last part. Uh, <laughs> I was just going to say, I mean, 2-0, oh, you know, that's, as long as we win, I'm, I'm happy. I don't really care. You know, obviously, um, you know, nobody's expectations are higher than mine in the way I play, and, and that's, that's the same way each and every single guy in that locker room is. Uh, but, you know, it's week by week, and we're looking, looking to get out there against Wisconsin. You mentioned the fumbles after the first game. How much is it in your head the second game? I mean, does, that, does that play a mental toll on you once you start, I mean, dropping the ball? Uh, yeah, I, sl I slept with, uh, you know, football, you know, in my arms every night, taped it up. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard stranger. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, but it's, it's, it's been something I've you know, been working on, so. I mean, did you do anything extra in this bye week to, to work on the ball security, I, I, other than just maybe doing the drills that you usually do? Uh, yeah, just, just, you know, urgency and um, just having that idea to, you know, have that ball security. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, I just got to go out there and, and, and play confident and you know, have confidence in, you know, in this team. And, um, and that's how we're going to play on Saturday. How fully integrated do you feel like you are with uh, Josh's scheme? Uh, very. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've, been, we've had an, an extra week to prepare for this bye week, so um, I, I feel like we have a really good game plan uh, together. Uh, and I feel like, uh, you know, Everybody trusts everybody in that locker room and, and in the office, and um, you know, we're just going to go out there and let it loose. Will you have Peoples Jones back? Sarah? Not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I know he's 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 getting better every single every single day, every single week. So um, can't wait for him to get back out there. Is and you have Rondon back. I'm sorry. Is that is he practicing right now? Yeah, as far as I know. And, but you'll have Rondon back though. Does that does that make a big difference for you with, with the offensive line? Yeah, you know, anytime you you have your, your Starting a left tackle, you know, senior veteran guy coming back. Uh, I thought Hayes did, did a great job uh, protecting the blind side the past few games, but I'm you know, really excited for him to get back. There's a lot of talk coming off the Army game about the reads and when you pull it and when you give it and, and when you throw it. What did you see when you look back at that film and, and where do you feel like you are in terms of that aspect of it? Uh, learning, learning, and, and more learning. Uh, just. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're not going to apologize for being 2-0. Uh, you know, as simple as that, it was a good Army team, and you know, defense played lights out. Uh, but we're looking, looking to let it loose Saturday. Is that one of the more complex aspects of Josh's offense, is just how many reads you have to make on a given play? Not really. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty simple at the end of the day, just as far as uh, the amount of preparation you put in and how prepared you are to, to go out there and, and execute. What are your early thoughts on Wisconsin's defense? Oh, they're good. Uh, they're you know, very well coached and, and sound on defense. Uh, great front seven. Um, you know, I feel like it's going to be a, you know, a good matchup, but uh, we'll be out there ready to play. You're 2 0, like you said, but sometimes there's a sense that the sky is falling, the offense isn't clicking. Why, are, why should people be sure that it will click? Uh, I guess you guys just have to wait and find out. And, you know, trust the process. But you believe it, right? You believe it's... I believe it.
So is every, every guy in there does. What do you think you guys need to improve the most? Mm, you know, everywhere. Uh, you know, top time, I think it's, it all starts with me. Uh, getting the ball every single play. Uh, you know, just go out, going out there, and I said, kept saying it, just playing loose and playing confident, because at the end of the day, we feel like the only people who can stop us is us, so. And Bredesen was talking yesterday about how impressed he was with your leadership. He said, you don't bat an eye, you know, if you're hurt, whatever. What do you try to emphasize as a leader? Getting the A on your chest, so to speak. Uh, just, just kind of instilling the confidence and you know that I have in myself and, and, and my teammates and um, you know, a lot of guys we have so many leaders on this team and, and they do the same to me and it just kind of you know we just we just feed off each other so I think just just positive energy and, and the confidence and knowing what you're doing um, and just having fun with it really. You mentioned confidence a couple times here. Has there been a time when you were not a confident quarterback? No. All your life. Fifth grade. I mean, fifth grade was. <laughs> fifth grade was the first year. So let's talk about fifth grade. <laughs> dad, my dad was a coach, and he was a signal caller. But it was, it was, it was a little, a little rough at first, but eventually caught on to it. So your dad took your confidence away? No, I mean, he's just you know, first time out there a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, very, very confident, and you know that comes with the guys around me and and just. You know, how can you not have confidence in, in yourself when you have you know veteran O line and unbelievable targets targets outside and and, and hell of a defense behind you? So, where do you see Ronnie Bell progress? Coach Herbaugh was talking about how much he's he's picked up. Man, he's just you know he's one of the hardest workers I've ever been around. I've never seen him never seen him take a playoff in, in practice or a game. So, um, and I think just his, his athletic ability and his and his you know, just ability to make plays, you know, especially after the catch, is, is something really cool. What are the challenges of you know trying to work and perfect the offense, and you know get over some of the the doldrums from the last couple of weeks when taking it on the road to, at Wisconsin? Uh, every single day, uh, especially during the bye week and, and leading up to today, and over the next few days, just having the best day we can uh, possible. Um, you know, that way we can we can go into the game feeling good. You've been in some hostile atmospheres before, and th this will be your first time at Wisconsin, right? Mm. What, do, what do you anticipate going to Camp Randall? Uh, it's gonna be fun. You know, I, I, for me, I really don't. It's weird. I don't really, I don't really hear uh, you know, the noise, and you know, a lot of guys are like that on this team. Um, but I think, I think just the atmosphere is gonna be, gonna be fun. We're all looking forward to it. You've, you've targeted Ronnie quite a bit through two games. What, what gives you the chemistry with him to, to trust him so much being younger and smaller than the other guys that you have? Yeah, Ronnie, as soon as, you know, as, soon as he came in, uh, he lit a spark uh, in the offense. You know, not in, last year he came in against Nebraska and you know, made some plays and um, really just, just all spring. Uh, just his, his explosiveness, I think, uh, adds a spark to our offense. Do you feel like underdogs going into this game? Uh, we never, we never really feel like the underdogs. Uh, I think that's just who we are as a unit, you know, whether we are or not. Uh, I think the biggest thing with us is, is to play confident and uh, you know, just believe in ourselves. What do you want to learn about yourself through this offense? Um, you know, just to, to reach our full potential. You know, obviously. You know, we had the last two weeks, and um, like I said, we're just we're gonna go out there and and just let loose. That's all we can do. Josh said last week that in practice there has been no, I mean, ball security hasn't been an issue. Why does that? Tra why is there a different translation going into the game? You think? Um, as far as like working on? Yeah, stuff? I mean, why? Are, I mean, but why have they written through? If you haven't had the issues in practice, why is it translated differently? In Oh, you know, just certain certain things happen happen in the games, and um, you know, you learn from it. You go go and watch the tape, and you know, whatever it is, if it's ball security, if it's footwork, if it's if it's uh, too many steps in a route, if it's uh, too many steps in a drop, you gotta you know work on it, and correct it. So, um, yeah, that has been you know a huge emphasis these past two weeks.
You mentioned a couple times playing loose. Do you feel like maybe you guys were pressing a little bit those first couple games and, and any sense for where that would have come from? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I think it's, I think it's just, you know, getting the, the groove and, and the tempo of this offense and, and really, you know, kind of feeling it out and um, you know, just, just playing fast and, and trusting in ourselves. I think that's, uh, that's been the biggest key. And, um, yeah. Is that something you kind of need to be going at, at game speed uh, against a different opponent to get the hang up? Not really. We, especially this week, I, I, I saw on, both on defense and on offense the, the <laughs> scout team has done a heck of a job. Uh, you know, I know it's not it's not 100 percent accurate, but we got we got we got guys giving great looks every single day, and uh, I feel like that helps a lot. How close or far away do you you feel like you are from the the whole offense from showing what you've seen in practice? Uh, like, was it like three and a half, four days? Mm -hmm. Is that when the game is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think we will be in, in about three or four days. You sound really anxious to play. I mean, I'm sure you are every game. Yeah. Is there a little extra game for this? Yeah, I mean, we're just we're looking to go out there and make a statement. Um, it's as simple as that. What's the statement? Uh, it'll, it'll be, I mean, I'm done talking. I'm done talking about it. We're, gonna get, <laughs> We're gonna get out there and play, and uh, I just have fun with it. All right, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>